वेलकम टू जीटेक टेक्नो सॉल्यूशन प्राइवेट लिमिटेड नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स द टॉपिक्स व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डील इन दिस वीडियो ऑफ जीटेक इज द डेफिनेशंस एंड द स्टेप्स टू बी फॉलोड इन टर्म्स ऑफ ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स इफ यू सी दिस वन अ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स represents a straight line in terms of geometrical manner a straight line or as we can simply call it as a line which is straight is called the graph of the linear equation in two variables the solutions of linear equation can be obtained by substituting different values for x in the equation in order to find out the corresponding values of y Apart from this in terms of graphical representation of linear equation in terms of two variable every point tends to satisfy the linear equation that lies on the line other than that every point that lies on the line is a kind of solution for the particular linear equation a point that does not lie on the line is not a solution of the linear equation so these are the point in terms of a definition description for the graphical representation of linear equations in two variables you can find the depiction of how this has been find over here so the steps the steps which we are going to follow in terms of linear equation to variable concepts are an equation which will be in the form of y equal to m into x where m is a real number that is representing a straight line passing through the origin in a cartesian plane the equation of x axis is y equal to 0 and the equation of any line parallel to x axis is of the form y equal to k The equation of y axis is x equal to 0 where the equation of any line parallel to y axis is of in the form x equal to k. So these are the steps which we must have in mind whenever we are doing the problems based on linear equation in two variables. Let's see some of the other things in terms of the linear equation the values of x and y are represented as an ordered pair to plot the graph of a linear equation its solution of found algebraically and then points are plotted on the graph you can see how th this equation it has been founded in the algebraic equation and based on the algebraic equation it is solved and the points will be plotted in the graph any linear equation of the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0 represents a straight line on the graph the points of the straight line make up the collection of solutions of the equation let's see an example So the solution of linear equation is not affected when the same number is added to or is subtracted from both the side of an equation multiplying or dividing both the sides of the equation by the same non zero number is also considered in terms of doing the problems based on linear equation of two variables Here we have an example. We need to draw the graph of each of the following linear equation in two variables. So the equation is x plus 4 equal to the equation is x plus y equal to 4. As per the given equation, we need to frame the solution. So the first step is taking x to the other side and keeping Y in the LHS, that is the left side 
or else we can tell it as left hand side. When x goes this side, it becomes minus x. So the equation is 4 equal y equal to 4 minus x. Now putting the value x equal to 0 in the equation 1, we can find y equal to 4 minus 0. 0 is nothing but the value which we have been substituted for x. So y equal to 4 is the answer which we got by substituting x equal to 0 in the first equation. So the solution which we got now is 0 comma 4. Putting the value x equal to 1 in the equation 1 again, we will be getting y equal to 4 minus 1 where 1 is the value of x which has been substituted We'll be getting y minus we'll be getting y equal to 4 minus 1 that is 3. So 1 comma 3. If x is 1, y equal to 3. In the same way, we'll be substituting the value of x as 2 again in the first equation. By substituting, we'll be getting 4 minus 2 that is 2. So y equal to 2. So the solution is 2 comma 2. So based on the answers which we got by substituting the value of x as 0, 1 and 2, we can now plot the graph. So the first value is 0, 4, x 0, in terms of y it's 4, so 0, 4. The second point is 1, 3, x as 1, y as 3. So this is the intersecting point. And the third value is 2, 2 x as 2 and y as 2. So this is the point. So this is how we got to draw the graph for the, for the linear equation if we got the two variable equation.